Hey guys, how are you? Jay Vondra here. I uh, just wanted to give you some tips um, about the song Jabong, all right? I'm gonna go through some of the moves of our form, um, our basic template um, of our form, move by move, and I'm gonna give you some details of what to focus on if you're a beginner, and if you're an intermediate student, and an advanced student, all right? So starting off, basically, um, don't worry about right hand, left hand, right foot, left foot, it doesn't make a difference. I really want you to understand the terminology of the moves if you're a beginner. Um, and try to have an understanding of how they kind of go physically, all right? Intermediate students, we're going to start work talking about direction of the strike, um, and making sure that you're actually doing a strike with the weapon. And advanced level students, I want to make sure that you're focusing on, on I definitely understand the terminology, um, where the strikes are supposed to go, but then also flowing the weapon so the weapon is continuously moving throughout the whole time, okay? So you have beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels. Here we go, move one. Um, you're gonna look good, first of all, throughout the whole form. So what I want you guys to make sure that you have your hands up, your hands are active throughout the form, and you're in a knees bent, we'll call it, just call it a fighting stance, all right? Fighting stance meaning keeping your knees bent, okay? So um, the basic strike is called the triangle strike, where you have starting position with the weapon on your shoulder, and what I want you to do is you're gonna strike the weapon across on an angle towards your hip and then bring it to your other hip and then get to twirl the weapon all the way up back to your shoulder just like that. So it's a three part move where you strike across this way, down, across your belt, back up over to your shoulder, okay? So you're gonna go basic one, two, three. Yeah, just like that, one across, two back to your hip and then up, all right? So across, bring your elbow up as you bring it over this way so your elbow doesn't kind of get in the way or you don't hit the outside of your arm. So over your shoulder, bring it across. Bring your elbow up so it hits your hip, and then now you can kind of reverse your elbow just like that. So one, two, three. Strike across here and across. So the strike is right across your head level. So you're gonna go boom, one, two, and three. If you wanna get a little advanced, you can add the twirl up as you go. One, two, just kind of spin the weapon up to the side one time, up to your shoulder. So one, two, Little spin, I'll show you from this angle. So one, two, and then spin it up. Cross, cross, and up, okay? So work that fighting stance, hand up, looking active, do it for about 30 seconds. Up, one, two, and three. If you're a black or higher rank, the weapon should flow the whole time. It shouldn't stop and lose its momentum as you come around here and you regain the momentum. It should flow the whole time. We should be constantly moving. You should be in control and in, uh, in control of the end of the weapon the whole time. Strike, strike, strike. One, two, and three. The twirl up should come up straight towards your face, okay? It should be a strike. You can bring it up to the side too, but keep the weapon moving. Keep in mind that this could be a strike also, all right? Is the figure eights. Again, you wanna maintain a good, strong fighting stance. And then when you transition from the triangle strike, into the figure eights, all you're gonna do is start from above your shoulder. You're gonna basically do a downward strike this way and then spin the weapon up towards the other side. So you're gonna go down, let it spin up. And then as it spins up, you're gonna control it to the other side and then spin it down this way. So the weapon's gonna go up, down, up, and down, like an eight, call it a figure eight. So down, up, down, up. Making a big circle just like this. This is kind of the general idea. So you're gonna bring the weapon up. You're not gonna use your whole arm in the form, but I'm gonna give you guys the idea of the direction of the weapon. It'll come up to your shoulder, down and up, down and up, bringing it across. Almost like it's following the path of your uniform. Down here, up, down the other way. Down, down, just like that. So you have your figure eight. Now just with your wrist, forward like that, keeping your wrist moving. You can see my wrist turning down, up, down, up, just like that. Boom. Down and up. Keeping your hand active, stay in your fighting stance, okay? Intermediate levels, no, this is a strike. Boom. All the way down. I should strike down and be able to strike with these movements. Strike across, strike across. Higher ranks, making sure that the weapon is flowing. You should want to try to keep the weapon looking like it's one piece, okay? Higher rank students. So when you do your figure eights, down and up. Down and up, you should keep the weapon flowing forward, striking and making it look like it's just one 
solid piece. All right, practice those figure eights. So the next part of the form is just more of a transitional movement. This is exercise is designed to keep the weapon flowing, to keep the weapon moving. Instead of just continue doing strikes, instead of, and instead of stopping the weapon, we want to control the weapon. We call this the tap, twirl up, or the tick tock. So if you go under your arm and over your shoulder, just like this, keeping the weapon flowing, tap it under your arm and then over your shoulder. This part, we just call this the tick tock. All right, so you just tap it under your arm and then back over to the top. Notice that I keep my elbow up high and, I'm, and my uh, upper arm level with the floor. And I just use my wrist to continue keeping the weapon moving. Just a little bit of a movement with my forearm under my arm and over my arm. Okay, this is the tick tock. You do the twirl up. You're going to go under your arm and then just do the extra twirl up back to your shoulder. So under, twirl up. And this is a little fancier, something that you guys can all try to learn how to do. Um, but keeping the weapon moving, okay? So just down and up, all right? So that's the tick-tock, this one. And then the twirl up, tap, twirl up, under. So tap, twirl up. It's basically the same thing except when you twirl, all right? So... Um, intermediates, making sure that you can still use this as a strike too. So you're going to go down under your arm and then bring it up towards your face for that strike. Down, up. So everything is could be a strike here. All right, high ranks. Keep the weapon flowing as you're doing the uh, as you're doing this movement. So you can keep the weapon going. And again, from the side, making sure it looks like just one piece. Okay, this will get your arm cooking too. All right, that's your TikTok and the tap twirl up. You can put that anywhere in the form, really. Um, if you want to transition, you got your triangle strikes, you got your tap twirl up, you got your figure eights back into your tap twirl up. You can add that anywhere into your form. Tap twirl up, TikToks, figure eights, tap twirl up, triangle strikes. It kind of goes well when you want to move from one thing to the next. Okay? Practice the tap twirl up. Here we go. We're going to do the helicopter strike. Anyways, um, with the weapon over your shoulder. So you're gonna. this is going to be following your figure eights and then your tap twirl up. So as you twirl the weapon up, you're going to swing it over your head and then down around your hip to, do a tr to get a triangle strike in. So... Real simply, the weapon just goes over your head. If you're striking, you're striking somebody forward, boom, and then bringing it back over your head, down to your hip, to your other hip, and then back up. So striking it over your head, and then two, one, two, three. And as you do that strike over your head part, you're actually gonna step with the back foot. You're gonna step with the back foot. You're gonna turn and then step again and put to put this other foot back into the front, okay? so. Step with the back foot, turn, step back forward with the other foot, all right? And that's the kind of the footwork. You can do it jumping or not jumping. So as you step, you can strike, turn, and then finish the uh, triangle strike. It's actually a lot uh, hard. It looks a lot harder than it is. So um, step, turn, strike, finish with the triangle strike, okay? Kind of jumping, you just bring the back foot, and jump turn and finish up that uh, helicopter like that. So striking, jump turn, strike, finish with the helicopter. One more. Got V-Strikes coming up, my favorite. Um, these are really cool. Um, make sure you guys are going back to the parts of the video and kind of practicing the, these moves all along. We've done uh, the triangle strike, We've done the figure eights. We've done the tap twirl up right into the helicopter strike. So make sure that you're able to kind of flow those movements together, okay? So the V strike in this form, um, you can do it standing still or you can do it backing up or you can even do it moving forward, okay? Um, um, if you were to perform this form, you would know that you'd pr you're pretty close to the judges so far. So to kind of get centered back up, you can use this V-Strike to move back just a little tiny bit, all right? So let me give you the details of the V-Strike. Um, basically, if you're in your fighting stance, which you should be, with your legs apart, knees bent, you're going to take the weapon and swing it under your 
knee, you're going to hook it on your leg and then bring it back up to your shoulder, okay? So you're going to swing it across your leg and then back up that way, all right? You have to kind of have your foot turned out to the side and your knee kind of pointing this way, all right? In a, well, we'll call it a back stance, just like this. If you have your knee turned in this way, it's going to be a little harder. If you're in a front stance or a forward stance, it's going to be a little harder uh, to swing that weapon around your knee. You might actually miss and yeah, don't do that. So um, you can do this in a middle stance too to practice where your knees are already out. So you just kind of swing to the outside of your leg. And then what you're going to do is once you swing it to your leg here, you're going to strike up this way, then back down, and then back up to finish that V. So you're going to go down, up, down, and up. So you can kind of see it makes that that V movement, all right? So down and up, down and up. Of course, keeping your hand up, and then you can always add that twirl up here. So down and up, down and up, and keeping this hand active, all right? So from the stance that we're probably gonna be in during our form, just down and up, down and up. So down, strike up, down, uh, st uh, ending right here. One, two, three, and you can add the twirl up. Tap to roll up as always. Okay, so you want to add some movement to it. Um, as you go through your back leg, if you're backing up, you go through your back leg, and as you bring the weapon over your shoulder, that's where you can step back and then back down and then back up. The same thing moving forward. Through the back leg, step together, step forward, through the back leg, step up. All right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. All right. There you go. That's your V strike. All right. Wrist rolls are going to be next. Hey, guys, wrist rolls are not a beginner movement. All right. So if you're having a hard time as a beginner doing this move, even as an intermediate student, don't feel bad. This is really not designed for beginners, okay? So I'm going to teach you guys the move, but I don't want you to get upset if you're struggling. Oh, Taekwondo is so hard. I can't do it. I quit. I don't want you to feel bad that you can't do this. This is really a, a, a really difficult movement, all right? So do your best to practice it. But again, don't feel bad if you can't get it, all right? So let me show you. Um, I guarantee you will be able to do it if you practice it because I had a hard time learning it too, and I probably will drop it in this video as well. But... I'm going to show you the wrist row. What you do with the wrist row, you have the weapon in the traditional style. So after you're going around your, uh, your hip this direction, as I bring the weapon across this way, I let the weapon wrap around my wrist and then I grab it in this reverse direction. Okay, so one more time, let me show you what that looks like. You're going to go, so this movement. So after your triangle strike, you're going to go across and you bring the weapon and kind of wrap it around your wrist and grab, grab it to the other side. I'll do it a few times. So not, I'll do it as slow as I can. I'll hold this weapon, do a little slow-mo. So here, boom, and then the weapon's going to come around this way, and I'm going to open my hand up and then grab it to end up finishing like that, all right? And that's the first half of the wrist drill. So across, wrap it around your wrist. Oh, look at that. All right, one more time. So one, two, all right? So it takes your fingertips almost to get it. You have to, I use my fingertips to make it a little easier to manipulate. Instead of squeezing it really tight, hold the fingertips here, bring it across. Boom, other side. I'm getting again I'm getting lucky here. There you go, just like that. Okay, so so you go this way, do the wrist roll to the one side. Ooh, see, I missed it by the string. You bring it to the one side here. No, I did drop it. I knew it. So bring it to the I'm not even cutting, I'm keeping that in. So as you go here, as you wrap it around this part of your waist, you can do this movement here but as you bring it across this direction you're going to do the exact same opposite thing wrap it around let me show you here i'm going to wrap it around i get to get it started by going around my hip and then i kind of swing it across this way and open my hand and then as i open my hand up here the other piece just kind of rolls around my wrist i open my hand turn my hand and get ready to grab the other piece okay so from one side boom to the other side boom okay so cross this way. See, I dropped it. I'm keeping that in. All right. So I'm telling you, it's not an easy move. And I'm, I've been doing this for a while. So cross, 
wrist roll, and then back, okay? And then you kind of just do this move here, this little hip to hip, back up to your triangle strikes, okay? So you have your V-strike, boom, boom, into your wrist roll, okay? The next part, I'm gonna keep it right here. The next part is real simply just add a kick. So control the weapon while you kick. I want you to throw it under your armpit and catch it. Notice my arm is bent like this. I'm not tucking my wrist under to try to catch it like that. Watch what happens when I do that. It kind of gets all floppy over here. See this? I want to keep my, I want this ending movement so it looks like I'm in this kind of guard fighting position, okay? So as I'm over my shoulder, I flip it down and catch it like that. And that's where I'll throw that strong front kick, okay? So finish in the wrist row. I come around and up. I catch the weapon under my armpit. I have this cool little guard fighting stance with the weapon under my pit with it controlled. I throw that a cool front kick and I land in my fighting stance. Okay, so catch the weapon, front kick, and back down. Okay, should look like you're in your kind of guard fighting position. Here, boom. Okay, guys, just like that. So we'll keep it rolling. The next part is a strike also, okay? So you're actually you're gonna bring the weapon from under your armpit, striking up, twirl up to your shoulder. So from here, just strike straight up. And it's almost like you're just letting go of it and you're doing a twirl up to your shoulder. So catch it, twirl it up. Catch it, twirl it up. Catch it, twirl it up. You can practice this. Catch, kick, twirl up. Catch. Kick, twirl up. Catch, kick, twirl up. All right? Last part, behind the back magic. Cross your body. You're going to go here, and you're going to grab it behind your back, just like this, and then let go and flip it into your other arm so you can repeat the whole form on the other side. We call this behind the back magic. So across, behind the back, catch it in your left hand, and twirl it up, or in your other hand, it doesn't matter. You can do behind the back magic on both sides. So you bring the weapon across, behind your back and catch, and then twirl it up. Across, behind the back, catch it like this, other hand. One, two, three. And that's basically the whole thing. All right, guys?